ODU is going arts. It's so cool. And I got some great people to talk about it. CeCe Tucker, assistant to the president of, for community relations at Old Dominion University. How are you doing? I'm doing great, thank you. Awesome. And Ken Daly, a lot of people are going to recognize you. <laughs> and I hope you gave them all A's if they recognize you. Uh, <laughs> professor of art at Old Dominion University. How many years, Ken? I'm um, in my 51st year. So you started there when you were 14? <laughs> uh, yeah, around that age. So I what, guess. What, is your, what, what is your art? Print media, uh, which is graphic. Things like uh, uh, screen printing, known as silk screen, uh, etching, gray, not so much now, but uh, relief printing, uh, letterpress printing, uh, book arts. So you, do you use a roller for a straight line? A what? A ruler for a straight line? Oh, well, yes, I do. I mean, that, if anybody comes to me and says they can't draw a straight line, so I tell them to you know, find a ruler. <laughs> That's my problem. Okay, so when did the computer, though, venture into art? Well, our, our department, actually, our department at the university was the first to really involve computers, and that was back in the late 80s. And, um, and then it really took off and basically is data processing uh, and, and in terms of administrative work. Um, I don't remember exactly when our computer sciences department was created. I think it was in the 90s. Um, but we've been at it for quite a while. Oh, wow, so science, okay. So I got engineers in middle school, scientists and artists. <laughs> and Cece, you're pulling it all together because oh, 24 thanks. years you've been doing this at ODU, right? Yeah. So you've seen a couple of changes? I've seen a lot of changes. I've been here with at least three presidents. Uh, came in with Dr. Cook, and then Dr. Ranta, and now I'm there with... But he has, he worked for a building. <laughs> a web center. The web center, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I've seen eight presidents, yes. <laughs> so we were talking in pre-tape that old ODU in our early years, we remember it being only on the, what side of the building? West, West side. side of Hampton Boulevard. Mm -hmm. Now with the east side, there has been all kinds of opportunity when it comes to really celebrating the arts, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, Both sir. visual and that performing, performing arts mm -hmm. side. Mm -hmm. What's going on over there? Well, we just opened the Barry Building mm -hmm. and the Hickson Building for the visual arts. Uh, a few years back when uh, President Ronto was here, we opened the uh, Gordon Galleries, mm -hmm. uh, Baron Allen Gordon Galleries, uh, also co-sponsored by the Good Family. Um, all along Monarch Way, you know, we now have the arts sort of concentrated. Mm -hmm. We've moved everything that was on the west side of campus now to uh, the east side. And we now have the Brock Commons, which will be a nice uh, performance area. Okay, so I was going to say, because you started off talking about that visual arts side. There's a performing arts side too, right? Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so, how many theaters are over there now? How many? Performing arts theaters. The well, there are to the original tech theater. Okay. And then there was a uh, black box theater that was started in the old barn building, stable, called mm -hmm. the Stables Theater. And then that was um, turned into the Good Theater. Gotcha. Which is right next door. Mm -hmm. So they're basically, you have two theaters. And a little trivia that some, most people don't know, the original Norfolk Mermaid, the fiberglass ones, was born right down the street from Stable. Oh, yes. yes. Really? Kind of, yeah, yeah. Not many people know that. But people who watch the show will now. <laughs> so there's an event coming up to really celebrate the arts, right? Over on, uh, on October 26th. Arts in the City is a visual tour. That's correct. Um, this is being sponsored by Lifelong Learning. Mm -hmm. This is a program, as you know, for the adult population, people who want to continue to learn and we are going to bring various venues, art venues, to the Good Theater on that date. And those individuals that represent those venues will tell us what they have to offer in the way of art. Um, and it's gonna be wonderful. People will learn a lot because we've learned a lot <laughs> trying to put it together. Uh, there are various, I think there are 12 venues that will be represented wow. that day at the Good, it, and it's only from 10 until 1 o'clock in the, in the okay. afternoon. So people can just come in and sit and enjoy listening to what we have available right here in Hampton Roads. 
we have all of the cities involved, uh, well, just about. I, I don't think we have Chesapeake, but we have Norfolk and Virginia Beach and Portsmouth uh, involved in the presentations with their various venues. Because, you know, it's, I, t I talked early on about, you know, the transition from uh, the, the ruler in pen, pencil to the computer, but really arts is something that kind of brings the whole community together. Though. That's true. That is true. Um, as I said, we've learned a lot about uh, what is available in our community. Ken may want to elaborate a little bit on some of the things that at, at least I discovered. Um, you want to talk about some of the things that... Kind of what's happening on Monarch Way in that? Uh, what's happening on Monarch Way? Well, we, right now, if, you know, we have a faculty show in place, and then we have a visiting artist coming in, the Gordon Galleries. Um, we're pumping away, you know, with our program. Mm -hmm. um, it's very exciting to be in the new facilities. Um, I'm bringing in um, resources from different areas for our program. Uh, we're adding faculty. Um, we have great programs. Uh, it's very exciting. And it, what's really cool is you don't have to be enrolled. This no. is really bringing the community together. That's right. To to have those uh, art now experiences. We've created an, what is called an arts district, so to speak, and this is kind of like a thing that has come up, you know, in social environments. Uh, we have the downtown Norfolk Arts District mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. called Neon. They'll be represented. Cool. Virginia Beach is starting one, and communities all over the nation recognize the economic value of having arts districts. They draw people, yeah. you know, people to entertainment, uh, to dine. Um, it's all an economy booster. Uh, the arts are often seen by people as, okay, just entertainment or frivolity, right. but when you look at the statistics, you will find they're vital, you know, to a thriving economic right. environment. Well, and what a rich environment we've got. Thank you for bringing it to our attention, but also thank you for being that energy behind that Certainly. vitality. Could I just say one other thing? Sure. We're going to have three more programs, one in January, mm -hmm. And the theme for that is going to be art history. And hopefully we'll be able to bring uh, art gardens, garden cool. arts. And then in February, we will have a um, painting show. Okay. I'm looking forward to it. Thank okay. you. Hey, okay. and speaking of art, there's art on ice and a couple of fights included. The admirals are in town. Stay tuned.